Good morning. Welcome to our service of morning prayer for August 2020. Uh, The purpose of this service uh, is to help each of us to keep on track with following our Lord Jesus by reading his word daily and bringing our thoughts to him. If you're watching this service on video, uh, then you will need to have the video remote and you will, of course, need a Bible so that you yourself can meditate and reflect on God's word, having read the Bible passages for the day. Let's begin by asking God into our hearts and onto our lips by his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms of David were, of course, originally written as songs, and probably they each had their own tune. 
We don't know what the tunes were, but we can try and recreate them using their poetic elements today. So here's a sung version of one of them to try and put us in the mood of worshipping God through the Psalms. You might like to pause the video to reflect on today's psalms and ask God to speak to you and minister to your heart through them. In the Old Testament, we're working through the books of Samuel and Kings over the summer to get the spread of Israel's history the way that God took care of his people. Please pause the video and read today's Old Testament reading. There is a canticle which you can use if you wish to do so, uh, and uh, you can pause the video now to do that, looking it up in your own Bible. In the New Testament, over the summer period, we're following the history of Jesus and the early church as told by Luke in his Gospel and in the Acts of the Apostles. Please pause the video and read the passage for today.
There is a set canticle, the Benedictus, uh, for us to use as a response to the New Testament reading, if you'd like. And so let's turn to prayer. Let's put these things before God. Let's ask him to minister to our hearts and apply his reading to our lives. And let's bring before him the needs of the world. Please pause the video while you pray. The Collect for the Eighth Sunday After Trinity. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, we beseech you to direct, sanctify and govern both our hearts and our bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments, that by your mighty protection we may be preserved in body and soul through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen.